My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We've got a sweetheart car here today. It's a 1966 Chevelle SS396. has 53,000 actual miles, all original metal, just a nice car. If you've been watching my videos, every once in a while I refer to a sweetheart. That's a car to me that is a low mile, unabused car. They just feel different. This car you get in it, you think you're in a brand new Chevelle. There's no clutch chatter. All the interior lights work. It's smooth, it accelerates. There's no shimmies or shaking. It's just one of those really right cars. To find a SS big block four speed Chevelle that hasn't been abused or beat on or totally taken apart and put back together, that's not easy to do, but we've got one right here for you. All number match, by the way. Go to volocars.com where you can read all the information, uh, study pictures top to bottom. And you'll find a price tag on every one of our cars along with a monthly finance payment as well at volocars.com. If you like the videos, subscribe, click on the bell icon, <coughs> click on the bell icon and you'll be notified <coughs> Excuse me, as the new ones are posted. But let's go for a spin. So underneath the car is very original. You're not going to see uh, coil over shocks or shiny parts. It's original. Zero rust, even the lower drop downs from the quarters underneath behind the tires, the floors, the frame rails, all original uh, rust free metal. The frame and chassis and suspension, all that looks to be original too. I'm sure it's been maintained as needed, but for the most part, what you look at under this car is original. The mufflers have been replaced. It does have dual exhaust. Now you look up at the motor, it is clean. It has the correct canister screw on oil filter. It has its original M20 Muncie four speed. It's dated, I think, July 7th. Uh, this car was built second week of July, uh, and it has the actual VIN number on it that matches the car. That's the original Muncie four-speed. has its original 12-bolt rear end. Uh, CW code, I think it is. It's correct for this car. It's dated July 5th, which matches up perfectly, and the code is for a big block only. Uh, fuel tank looks like that's original. So again, a, a car underneath that's not been a part, but it's all proper and solid. Now the body, let's check out the body. Uh, it was always uh, ermine white, no vinyl top. The roof is absolutely straight. Uh, this all fits super nice, clean, straight. No issues, lines up beautifully. I mean, spot on, but it lines up really good. All oh, this is great. No waves, no dents, no damage. And that is just metal. All clean all along the bottom here. Square gaps. I bet you this shuts like a new car. Yeah. Clean all around the wheel well. Down low, it's all clean and straight. No issues here. This is all clean and straight. Lines up beautifully. Square, flush gaps. Now coming around, the uh, tail panel is painted black on an SS396. And all this trim is beautiful. The tail lights, the bumper, all that is in excellent shape. Super Sport emblem sparkling. This side of the car is just as good. Absolutely straight, clean, no rust, no damage. Now the paint, there's a number of chips in the paint. Like here's one. Oh, there must be more on the other side, but there are chips that can easily be touched up. We're talking about a solid color here. It's not metal flake or candy color. Uh, so I would get the car touched up professionally. Uh, so the paint is polished very smooth and glossy, repainted one time, and it's all the original sheet metal we're talking about here. This car is a uh, no hit, no rust car. So the windshield, very clear. 
The moldings are real nice. Here's a chip in the paint right here. Here's a chip. Uh, up front here, all the trim, the bumper, so all looks very nice. Here's a chip. There's one right there. Again, easily touched up, but go to a shop and let them match the color uh, so we get it right. You got the cross flag emblems. Someone did put torque thrust wheels. They look new. Uh, BF Goodrich tires. The rubber is soft around the vent window. Vent window pillars nice and clean. The gutters, door handles are clean. Here's a few more chips. Has the rear mount antenna. This is the original antenna. It has like an oval shape to it. So there's the outside. Let's open it up, see what it looks like inside. We have a nice clean trunk. Now the outside of the car was painted one time. This here is the original paint. Original jam, original weather strip around the trunk. All clean, solid metal, no patches, no splices. Then spatter painted. This is the original mat. It's an old tire for a spare. It's holding air. We got an original rim. Got the jack assembly. Door jams look like they are original. They're kind of chipped up over on this side, but it's original paint. The door panels and armrests, all that's supposed to be the original. Love the bright red, by the way. Really pops against the white. <coughs> the dash area is really nice and tidy and straight. It's original. The chrome trim, the lenses, all nice and tidy. This chrome is slightly yellowed, just enough patina, but look how nice and clean. Glove box area still looks new. Got the sticker, the light works. Shuts like new. Uh, it's got nice bright red carpet, and they did get uh, some nice embroidered mats. They did install a gauge cluster and a mini tachometer. Obviously, this can be removed, uh, but it's very nice to have. Then you got the original style for the original reverse lockout shifter. The console's mint. Steering wheel's excellent. The seats are excellent. The backs of the seat, this plastic trim's original. Look how nice it is. The back seat is excellent. From my understanding, they put carpet and they upholstered the seats, but all the side panels, the headliner's original. The rear shelf is kind of sun faded but uh, they left it original headliner fits as tight as a drum there's no mouse holes the visors are excellent the mirror is real clean the light works in the console this has deluxe seat belts seat belts are still an option in 66. i also have the protecto plate that's in the office that's the warranty card and that has the engine transmission and rear end codes it's another form of documentation So we do have the original VIN number matching 396, 325 horsepower motor. This one's a little unusual because there's a letter H stamped on it. It has a Holley intake and a Holley carburetor. The correct snorkel air cleaner, the correct valve covers, and exhaust manifolds and distributor. Everything's correct. There's no, <clears throat> no Edelbrock under, under this hood. Uh, spring clamp battery cables. The right radiator, shroud, does have the power steering with the remote reservoir. We got power brakes. And overall, just clean, tidy, simple, proper, number match big block with power steering and brakes.
So again, we've got a sweetheart here, and I've been around cars my whole life, and I'm telling you, there is a difference. You could have blindfolded me and put me in this car, and I would have said, oh yeah, this, this just feels right. So smooth and effortless, and it's a big block four-speed. You can find a sweetheart 85 Cadillac Brougham that grandma owned and never used it, but find a sweetheart four-speed big block Chevelle. I guess one owner had this car for many years. It's lived in Kentucky all of its life. <laughs> Clean original metal, great colors, numbers matching, documented. This is a good piece to collect and to invest in. Good piece to just enjoy and be proud of. Go to volocars.com. Let the salesman answer your questions. They'll help deliver this to your door. They'll help you finance it at volocars.com. Really hope you're enjoying the videos. Subscribe, click on the bell icon, you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. Thanks for watching.